Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. And this video is called Your Twin Flame, Your Body Matters. Okay. The body that you have does matter and will be the focus for 2018. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the physical and non-physical and very important, the metaphysical parts of your physical union. So it has to do with your human body. Now, as you know, you have had this body for some years. You kind of know it. And you might ignore some things about it. You may have had to ignore some things or do the best you could. However, your body will want to fix certain things and get it fixed for good. So in order to do this, certain areas of you are going to be affected for possibly up to the next few months, possibly up until February. So you've got the rest of December, January, February, and this will be the breathing, your rib cage, your rib cage and your solar plexus, because there are parts of you connected to the ribs and inside, as well as the solar plexus, the hips, and the hips on men will probably uh, wind up feeling affected. When I say feeling affected, I'm sorry, that translates as discomfort or even pain. The spine and, of course, the heart. So some people who have been maybe zoned on the wrong person, you will find that your heart is trying to align you with your twin. You'll have physical sensations of this, which might be alarming. And sometimes, try as they might, the medical department of our world cannot always find something. Because why? Because it's metaphysical, because it is your cosmic level. And you are also doing base level stuff here. Now, something else to mention, to remind you of, you, the you you are, you are both masculine and feminine. You have both. So while people like to say, hey, the divine masculine, well, you are the divine masculine even if you're in a female body. And even if you consider yourself the femiest feminist fem or feminine that ever lived, okay, you still have masculine in you. The same goes for the men. And it goes beyond making a casserole. If you're a man and you make a casserole, that's not necessarily your feminine coming through, although people like to say those kind of things because they will consider it very endearing and very sweet. Just like people who have masculine and they are feminine, they can be a take-charge type of person. So there's attributes we consider to be attributable to both masculine or feminine, except you have both. You have both. There's no... There's no way out of it. You have both, and it's been ensured that you have both, and there's reasons for it. The masculine and feminine, are these are the energies that love makes. When you make love, you are making both of these energies. These are emanating to you. It's emanating. It's waving to you. Those are some of the waves that you're here to catch, okay? A lot of you people are feeling like you're done, you've had it, you're tired. And it's normal to be tired, especially when you're digging out the base level stuff. And your body will want to get rid of that base level stuff. And here again, I remind you, you have your body, your twin has their body. You'll each have to do things. And yet this is where you work in tandem with each other, not against each other. It may seem that your twin is working against you, but sometimes they don't know what to do. And some of this process, and I remind you it is a process, it becomes alarming. Alarmingly terrifying. Alarmingly death feel like. It feels like death sometimes. It feels like you could be dying a thousand deaths. And some of you have not come into a level of acceptance and that's going to be apparent here over the next several months. 
That also includes honesty, which is actually self-honesty. Okay? If you're not really admitting to yourself of who you are, who you two are to each other, then that honesty will continue trying to make itself known in every way and shape possible. Now, this also does include surrender. And what is surrender? People think of surrender as rolling over and playing dead. It is not rolling over and playing dead. It's discernment. It's discerning what you can do, when you should do it, how you should do it. And it's actually tuning into your guidance and cooperation with your higher self. That is where the alignment of will comes in. That is why free will, as it's thought of here on earth, doesn't apply. And many people know this because they will say, try as I might to resist, I still was compelled to do certain things or move or get things done. And if you don't, the other person does. I have had several people with some really good success though lately. And some of this may be new to you. And that's okay. So if you are on a twin flame journey, how you know some of this is through your body. The physical human body is intended to get together with your twin. You are intended to have times of deep, deep intimacy. You are intended to live together. You're not intended to have a dualistic relationship where you're here, they're here. Or to be dishonest with yourself and say, well, I know there's a lot of cleaning up. I know that that's the person. However, I don't really like the package that they came in. Too bad. You're going to have to work on it. And there is sometimes that, that happens where you feel the person no matter what. Now, this is also a time where soulmate relationships are going to do a 180-degree shift. It's going to go, whoa. Those person will actually drift away from you. You won't be able to get along with them. You won't be on the same page as them. And this is a very delicate time because sometimes there are children involved. And nobody wants anybody to get hurt. Not hurt emotionally, not hurt physically, not psychologically or spiritually hurt. Nobody wants more of that. But you'd have to say, who's taking who hostage? Okay? And if, if that's some of the thing that is going on for your union, it's time to find out how do you dislodge it? How do you fix it? How do you get it flowing in the direction that you need to? That is what I'm here to teach. Because your body needs to be with your twin's body. You need to be up close and personal. That is how this is happening. We're merging your bodies together. It happens right down to the cellular level. When you do so, you create a third energy. If you are with a soulmate, it doesn't matter what kind of sex you've had or the variety of it or anything like that. It's not going to be twin flame sex. So you have to be honest with yourself, especially if you've been feeling that person pull away from you. Because, yes, soulmates run too. The soulmates will run very far away because there's nothing left to hold you two together. And you're not here to be used. You're not here to be taken advantage of for any reason. You're not here to just take it, take it, or take someone's crap or be the rebound person. You are not the rebound girl or the rebound man or woman. Rebound woman, rebound man. You're not here for that. You're not here to be someone's rebound. They too may need to get honest with themselves and take the actions that they need to take and not use you or take advantage of you or something like that. Your body will be telling you this, but you may or may not know what to do. Now, the breathing. People who are intended to be in their physical union will go through some form of struggle with their breath. For some people, it re may remind you of the early part of your life where you had asthma or you had gone through a patch where it was difficult to breathe or you felt as though this planet was dense. 
I'm going to tell you something here. A lot of you are not from here. There are twin flames who have been here for a really long time of Earth's history, but some people are relative newcomers. And you might feel a bit like a foster child, like this really isn't your home. You might get some things you need, you might get, you know, some things you want, but it's not really home for you. Nobody feels like home. This isn't the place. You long for another place. You came here with a longing in your heart, and that longing was to find each other. Now, you could go to that movie Casablanca and sort of paraphrase it and say, out of all the planets in the entire galaxy, you pick this one to walk into, just like Humphrey Bogart says to Ingrid Berman. Oh, of all the gin joints and all the places in the world, you pick mine to walk into, and there they are looking at each other. Yes, you and your twin are within a few thousand miles of each other out of the entire galaxy and universe. You're finally here. But some of you are still coming in here. And that's what you're being asked for patience of. Because at each one of these gateways, you're not intended to do an about face and say, hey, I'm going to ignore this big wide door that just opened, this portal that everyone talked about. I'm going to go backwards and I'm going to go into history again and I'm going to repeat a few things with a few people. No. That's not what you're intended to do. So this solstice is a big, huge, giant gateway, and it's going to close behind you. So if you've made these decisions, you're going to get through with a sense of relief, like, oh, I'm here. You'll feel it very palpably. Some people won't because they haven't tuned in their feelers very well. They haven't been able to. They've been caught up in emotional turmoil or they're still processing things. And they may be zoned on the wrong person or they may be in a situation that they haven't realized how they're going to get out of it yet. And they feel trapped and they feel stuck. And yet even people that are trapped and stuck will find that if they're honest with themselves, they will say, you know what, I don't have to be trapped like this. But it takes a little bit. Angels are like that. And twin flames are angels. Angels are from higher realms. You're not just human. That's why this place doesn't feel normal to you. And it's okay. And you're not crazy about that. You are here to be in love. And I mean really in love with your, when you're enveloped in it and you can feel it on your body. You're not just getting it at certain times or place. Although what I do is I get people to feeling so that you can focus on it. Now, some people... Um, have not really put in the work, they've considered doing the work to be making themselves a better person. And I'm going to say something right now. When you make yourself a better person, that's a good thing. Anything you do to improve yourself. However, you also meet a better quality of soulmate. However, you're also intended to say no because you're not living in karma anymore. And if you do, you're choosing karma. And you will have karmic situation and it's going to go. Whoop. It just really won't go anywhere. Why? Because your union isn't going to sustain that any more than it will sustain any other karmic thing. It's not, your love is not being utilized to sustain old stuff. So it is time to put in the work, which is body work, as the masculine and feminine from the old paradigm is history. And for this week, what your body is going through, okay, I know that I've talked a lot about new moon, solstice energies, but guess what? You have a body and it goes beyond that how much percentage your body is of water and how the tides travel through and, you know, work with your body and make you feel things. You're a cosmic being. You're a 5D being. You have parts to you that only love can affect, not cosmic energies. In fact, it's the other way around. You are a part of that. You've been a part of it. So you're being delivered and it is time for the year which will equal the head. It's going to equal structures in and around your head. And this includes spine, heart, breath, and the earth, which is your body. Again, spine, rib cage, solar plexus, hips. 
you know, the more solid parts of the body. Now, I do have a webinar that I'm doing uh, starting tomorrow, tomorrow morning. That is the afternoon in Europe. And I also have one, so that's the December 20th, 8 a.m. Central. I'm in Chicago, so you have to check it. I have uh, some way for you to do the time and date conversion if you need to. December 22nd, December 23rd, these are all at times that should be easily doable for some people depending on your time zone. Now, another thing to be honest about yourself with is where are you putting your investment? Are you investing in yourself? Because I know a fair amount of people that self-medicate with things or try other relationships and they don't always turn that mirror around and say, hey, I'm you know, I haven't really invested in myself. Some people do. Some people overly invest, okay? And some of the things that have happened recently, I just very recently got texts from people. Um, some of them are having to do with couples together, okay? Couples together have challenges that they don't always share out in social media, just heard my visa is approved, okay? Let me see if, oh, I can't see it. Just heard my visa is approved. I'm so relieved. Now this person's twin had cancer, a very rare bone cancer. As also part of their union, they also had gotten a full boat healing with some experimental techniques and they flew him from California to Washington, D.C. every month for a year. Put him up in a hotel, treatment, scans, everything. And her visa is approved. So now he's been cancer-free for a while, and her visa is approved to stay in this country. Now, what does it tell you Twin Flame Love is supposed to do? Twin Flame Love arranges it so that the people can live together and stay together. That someone doesn't get deported, that someone doesn't become deathly ill. Although your body at times may feel as though you could be coming deathly ill. Or you could have something pop up where you're saying, what's this all about? What's this inflammation? Why are my hips aching? Why it might feel like my spine suddenly threw itself out? I can't breathe. My heart is going through stuff. I feel anxiety. I feel nervousness. I'm feeling panicky, and I don't know what that's all about. I do know what it's about. So come and join. Come and join and feel love for the holidays. Okay? I had another um, thing that I wanted to tell you. Some people have been very zoned on things of the negative because it's coming up. It's been how we've survived. It's been potions and spell casting and thought forms and, you know, some of the dark stuff. But when you have people that have um, lived here for quite a while and they've needed to get things done, sometimes that's what they've resorted to. And you have people that will say to someone, or set him aside, They'll say to someone, never darken my door again. I don't care. I don't want to see you. I'm pushing you away. I, I just can't handle this. You're not committing. And, and, and they'll go even further. And they'll say, I will salt the ground you walk on. And I will make sure that there's never any children in your lineage. And they're actually repeating things. And stuff like this, when people tell each other off, if you tell someone to go to, go to hell or go yourself, that's a curse. That can be stopped. Stop it between you and the person you love. It's inappropriate by now. It's inappropriate to, you know, keep doing some of these things in the past. You may not know what to say, but I will say something about anger. Anger feeds those kind of energies, okay? There are other things to do. There are ways to get out of that anger because anger puts up a wall. And that wall will feel like a push. And you don't want that. Some of you have made decisions where you've needed to level up, okay? And you've come out of this level, but you've sort of leveled off and you'll feel a bit of a balance. But next spring, you're going to start up again. 
This is a time when you're going to be laying those seeds for what happens next year. It's incumbent on you to get to know, get to know about your body. If you don't know, come and join. I take the mystery out of it. Like I said, if you are seeking to know about rocket science, you hire a rocket scientist. If you want to know about the twin flame body, you ask a twin flame. It takes one to know one, first of all. And I am a Blu-ray, so I have quite a bit of information compiled. It's going, there is going to be things in here that I talk about. There are things that I prepare people with, and there are things that I support you with. Also, light codes. The light codes are the frequencies you need for the templates because as you're leaving and ditching these old templates, you need the new template of 5D relationship. That's your home. You need that. You need to customize it for yourself. You're putting it on and you're customizing it. So it's beginning to look a lot like solstice everywhere you go. And with that, it comes a celebration of the light. Do not forget the light and the love you are. And the light is what is made by love. Okay? So love for the holidays. There are three parts to this. Part one, when you sign up, you get one price. Three parts. That means I'm supporting you through January 6th. You pick the times that work for you. You sign up this week. You're going to get to pick which other times work for you. Three times to meet up. And if you take that and divide it by three, that's not much at all. You know, that's less than $15 a segment. But I am asking people to commit to it. Commit and learn. And commit and get good at it. And commit and have this be seamless for you. Commit to what you already committed to up here. Down here. As above, so below. So another message I was getting, it had to do with a song. And it was the O Holy Night song. And it's the part where it says, And the soul felt its worth. And this was a message for the other in the union. Don't be against your twin. Don't be angry at them. Don't think the worst of them. They're going through some things that you may or may not have been through. But they will feel their worth. They will feel what the soul is worth. That was the message. So I hope that you're able to join. I hope that if you are celebrating Hanukkah, you're getting lots of great stuff. You're having a good time. That you're not having too much of that family angst. Although you might be if you are, come and get some support. If you're celebrating Christmas, you know, some people only get through the holidays by not being sober. And there are alternatives to that. Come and get some support. Come and get some of the support that infuses the love where you don't have to fill those holes with other things. And yes, through the new year, because 2018 is going to be a new year. And there are going to be new focuses. And there are people that are coming together. They already are. I just shared one story. I have numerous testimonials on my website which is www.twinflamesmerge.com if you like these updates, because these updates are intended to bring it very personally. A lot of us like astrology or astronomy or energies. We like explanations of things. But I want to bring the energies and bring it really home to let you know. I can't cover a lot in 20 minutes, okay? A lot of people don't have that, but... The highest stuff has to be done in a certain way so that you're able to feel it, okay? You're able to feel, you get sensible guidance, you get the go-to things so that you can go to the office, so that you can take care of your kids, so that you can be in your abundant flow. And that's another thing I'm going to have in January, abundance, abundance webinar. So look forward to that. Come and join. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I hope to see you there. Thank you.